All right, everyone, today I'm home and I am going to cook. And the reason I'm going to cook, I'm going to teach you something today and not just want to show you what I'm cooking, but I'm going to cook some steaks today. And the reason I'm choosing a flat top, not that I have a grill, I don't have a grill because I think flat top is actually a lot healthier. Why? Because think about it, when you're grilling, all this fat that is coming from the old juicy steak is coming right on top of the fire and all this carcinogenic stuff the smoke come right back at your steak and you're eating that not only that when you're cooking things at a very direct very high temperature you're exposing protein to very high temperatures you're creating what we call ages so the best is to slowly nicely cook on a flat top without having a direct touch to the fire. That will give you a great taste, but also a good, healthy meal without the carcinogens in it. So now, steaks are going right on there, nice and sizzly. And this is gonna taste great. I'll see you at the dinner table. I'll give you a few more tips. All right, guys, dinner is ready, and here's my plate. So you're gonna be like, wow, what is that? Well, that is bulgur. Of course, that's my steak, right? But this is bulgur, and that's, of course, Brussels sprouts. So now, why am I eating bulgur instead of, like, for example, rice, right? Well, think about it. Glycemic load of bulgur, which is extremely delicious, better than rice to me, it's only 10 glycemic load of 10, which is the medium glycemic load, which is compared to white rice, which is around 58 glycemic load, which will take your, or potato, similar, you're gonna have a huge trouble, hard time with blood sugar control. Now, combining protein with a grain like this that is low in glycemic index and glycemic load will be to your best interest. Now, you're gonna be saying, Doctor, why are you eating steak, right? Well, look, the cholesterol, the saturated cholesterol becomes a problem when you have inflammation in your body. So if you're diabetic, if you have chronic kidney disease, lung disease, heart disease, etc., you have inflammation in your body. So you have to be very careful with the saturated fat. So I recommend people who have inflammatory disease to have maybe once or twice a week steak, preferably grass fed, grass finished. Now, I am eating maybe twice a week and I'm very healthy. I don't have any inflammation in my body. So saturated fat is not your enemy. But if you already have inflammation, saturated fat can increase the risk of atherosclerosis, which has been proven many times. So saturated fat is not your enemy. It is about the environment the fat is in. When there's inflammation, the oxidation happens, which creates the LDL particles to go under the vascular system, endothelium, and that causes clotting. So, I hope you learned something today. So, we'll see you in the next video. Bon appetit. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far, and I hope you subscribed already. Uh, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.